If it's just human opinion, that's all it is. If there's no standard beyond us, then everybody, everything's just a matter of opinion. Every now and then I get the urge to do better. I feel that everyone has room for improvement in every aspect. However, what about the expression, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? The person I'll be talking about perfectly embodies this saying and proves just how much you can get away with on YouTube as a commentator with the most minimal and lazy effort. All right, what's going on everybody? So I know this situation is quote unquote over and whatnot, and this is something that unfolded a few days ago and everything at this point, like everyone kind of already, I think, at least who like follows the commentary community knows what happened. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we are going to be taking a look at perhaps the worst YouTube video ever made. I know that that's going to come as a surprise to you guys because not even counting like your own personal experiences, right? We've gone through some absolutely insane videos here on the channel and talked about them and, and reacted and responded. This is uh, genuinely going to have to be one of the worst videos that I've ever seen. <laughs> At a glance, there's nothing really wrong with Optimus as a YouTuber on a technical level, a daily uploader that mainly covers popular topics. It's no wonder why he's amassed a horde of casual fans to subscribe to his channel, putting him at that sweet, sweet one mil spot. Also, he apparently wants to be a rapper. But I had to come get in the game to my toes in the water because these rappers suck. He said he gon' out solo Optimus first week out and I told him good luck. Why does this seem so familiar? Let's start here. I breathe ass and eat it. <laughs> this wasn't the first cringy thing Optimus has done. There's also the infamous incel video that he took down from his channel. And though people like Cyrus want to say it was all a meme, Nicholas DiOrio's video kind of made it seem like it wasn't, and it was just a big oopsie on Optimus's part. Still, I think it's kind of telling of how Mr. Optimus spoke in the video. I mean, you may have seen this already on Twitter, and this is going to come as a surprise to the uh, to the woman that I was talking to. I don't even know if I want to call her that, because, you know, women, they know how to talk. You know, they know how to conduct themselves. Actual women. I, I would say this is more like a, like a girl, you know what I'm saying? She, I don't know what her deal is, but I don't even know what I'm supposed to say here. I mean, I, I got all the screenshots and, and we're going to go through this and uh, you can come to your own conclusion. So I was talking to this girl for four days. I'd FaceTimed her a couple times and we were primarily just just texting one another you know just a couple days in or whatever and at this point like i'm just trying to get to know this person right because you know I, I know where they live like where they stay at and whatnot i know what they're like what they're doing i guess and you know you would think in that kind of uh i guess idea there you would have something to talk about but i mean i i don't know i guess not so you guys have probably endured one of the uh, the dry texters as they're called. All right, yeah, that's enough of this cringe. Now these things are just nitpicks of Optimus's character, nothing that can't be memed on. I do find it a bit concerning that Optimus has no idea how to read social cues though, such as when a girl isn't interested in you, but that's a uh, him problem. And I'm sure he'll end up solving it. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he's gonna keep it a buck fifty when he does too. Welcome back to another video, everybody. And uh, today I just wanted to kind of take the time to directly talk to you guys about a lot of stuff going on, right? Because I feel like with this whole channel, right? I don't know if this is like, I guess, a common viewpoint for creators or anything, but I feel like you guys are like a very important part of this channel, right? Because like at the end of the day, you know, if you didn't watch the videos and things like that, it kind of wouldn't exist. Now, at the time of making this video. Optimus has made a new video and oh boy was it ever every bit the letdown I was expecting it to be. Let me really quickly get this out of the way as it's probably the most redeemable and only good thing about Optimus as a content creator, his whole charity thing that he's been doing. Now you can be cynical and say it's just for optics, you could be optimistic and say it's because he's a good guy. Maybe it's a bit of both at the end of the day because yes people have done that and people do do that. Whatever the case is, the point is that at least he's doing it. It took him a while, but he's finally at the very least not being a greedy hoarder. 
Not that I'm trying to be on my Robin Hood shit and say steal from the rich, give to the poor, nor do I want to be on that Bernie shit and advocate for taxing the rich. But I feel like if people want to try and present Optimus to be this good guy, he should, uh, I don't know, do some things that a good guy would do. Let's play a game, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me, how many subscribers do you think the person that made this intro has? Go on, I'll give you a second. I'm recording this video this individual has only 39,600 subscribers 39,600 subscribers at the time of recording this video not even a hundred thousand subs and this person has put more effort into their intro than Optimus has in his whole career that ladies and gentlemen is the main problem with the lyrical wizard known as Floptimus. Optimus embodies why you don't ever need to put effort as a commentator and why people that say you need to put effort into your work can just easily be ignored. Think about it. If you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars more than you know what to do with by making baseless arguments and rambling for over 10 minutes over low quality gameplay footage, why make a Turkey Tom level video at all? Why go that extra mile unless you care about your fans or you want to feel personally good about your work? <sighs> this can be further irritating when you have the same people simping for Optimus in the comment section of other people's videos saying the generic line of, you have low quality work. Irony at its peak right there, don't even at me bro. Still, that won't stop the hypocritical nature of people and I know there's no way to ultimately change that. So Optimus isn't completely to blame here, his fans, the people enabling him, ultimately take a share of that as well. And thus, the cycle will continue. Optimus will continue to show people that you can just be a complete tard with low effort and make it big on YouTube as long as you come off as a nice guy to your audience with the right optics. Optimus will continue to let channels like Prison Mate Dipshit flourish in the community until they crash and burn by screwing themselves over by feuding with 16 year olds over petty art drama. Rest in peace, Glue Eater Luke. I hope I conveyed my irritation with this guy better in this video. Like many other things about me, I had people try to misconstrue my previous Optimus rant in a way to where I was hypocritical. And that's one of the reasons I started to work on this project. I was always going to refine my takes because I feel that even if I can get away by being as lazy a sack of shit as Optimus, I kind of don't want to. I want to at least make a couple things out there that have some effort. So let me know what you think of this video overall in the comment section below. I'll also be taking requests for new videos I can make in this style or even more refined as my skills on Vegas pick up. Special thanks to my channel members as they were quite literally the only reason I was able to afford putting time into this kind of video and not completely suffering. Until next time though guys, I love you all, I notice you all, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.